We have a time of 12.45 on this Sunday afternoon, July 20th, 2049. The Sunday afternoon, time now for the Water Magician, P.J. Wiggins. The afternoon report, Sunday afternoon, July 20th, 2014. Good afternoon, everybody. Our congregations at 12.45 p.m. in North Massachusetts. Save 4 degrees on temperature in most of skies. Humidity at 6 7 percent What's paid variable about 3 miles per barometer. 30.18 inches. Two put about 62 degrees. The visibility of 10 miles. All right, let's take a look at our radar scope. It shows line of rain showers off the Cape Downs right on the south coast of Massachusetts from the 195 corridor from New Bedford, Dan, for Wareham. And we've seen some rain showers around the Yellowbirds and they're going to be around Norton in a few minutes. And we've seen some rain showers around the Cape Downs and then stretching it down for eastern. Long on the search of the down the Jersey Delaware coastline, and we're seeing some rain showers around Augusta and northwestern portions of Maine here. And rain showers around western portions of Nova Scotia, spotted rain showers of southeastern shores of Prince Edward Island here. And we're seeing lines of rain showers around down for Quebec and north central Ontario and north central New York State. And spotted rain showers in west central Pennsylvania and north of Pittsburgh here. And spotted rain showers in southern West Virginia, western Virginia, and down for central. Kentucky and North Central Tennessee. And seeing some spotty showers around the Carolinas with some storms and off the Carolina coastline, batches of rain showers off the Florida coastline around the Bahamas. And a line of showers and storms from eastern Alabama down for western Georgia, then through the Gulf states there and the Gulf Coast there. Spotty rain showers west central Ontario, Ontario west central Manitoba, west southwestern Saskatchewan down for Alberta, down for eastern British Columbia. Spotty rain shot from northwest Montana, north central Idaho, north for south east central. Washington State adventures of rain shots from east central Utah, southwest Wyoming, and then for northern Utah, Nevada, and then for eastern California. And some spotty rain shots around the San Francisco Bay Area here. And let's take a look at the Bay Area radar here. And we're seeing some spotty rain shots in the San Rafael area, San Francisco, Bay Area, and some rain shots around Berkeley and southeast of Concord, around southeast of Vallejo here. So, Salido, California. Good afternoon. 63 degrees with overcast skies. Alright, let's take a look at our satellite loop beer and it shows Met Patrick Clouds is covered in coastal New England and down for New Jersey. Metro Clouds from Quebec, down for Ontario, down for West New York, Pennsylvania, down for the Appalachians, down for the Southeastern States, and covering much of the Gulf Coast states. And Metro Clouds from Southwest Wyoming and down for Utah, down for the Northern Nevada, down for the North Central California, and another batch of clouds from Northwestern Oregon, down for Washington, Northern Idaho, Northwest Montana, down for Bridge, coming to down for Saskatchewan, down for Manitoba, down for Western Ontario. Here, okay, let's take a look at a map situation here. State Street Front from Oregon, Washington, stretching it down through the, the Northern Rockies here, and a cold front from Northeast Montana, down for the North Dakota, down for Manitoba. Warm front from Southern Manitoba to down from Northern Minnesota. Pink front up in the Northeastern Manitoba. Station front from the Gulf States and then down for Alabama. And a warm front down for Georgia and down for South Carolina. Cold front up in the North Carolina coastline merging with a frontal and warm front boundary up the Mid Atlantic coastline here. Front of Iowa from South Central Ohio down for Kentucky. Front of Iowa from the Dakotas down for Western Nebraska down for Western Kansas down for Oklahoma down for Western Texas. Front of body down for the Gulf of California, front of body down for the California coastline, and the front of body off the California coastline here. High pressure in the northwest Wyoming, northwestern Colorado, northeastern Arizona, and low pressure in central Utah, southeastern New Mexico, and northern Idaho, and western Nebraska here, and high pressure in, in Midland States and Ontario. 71 degrees that temperature in Boston, it's 82 out of Washington, D.C., 71 in Atlanta, 90 in Miami, 92 in Brownsville. 79 in Dallas, Texas, 76 in Kansas City, 77 in Chicago, 78 in Minneapolis, it's 79 out in Albuquerque, 87 in Denver, 82 in Salt Lake City, 79 in Great Falls, Montana, 69 in Los Angeles, 65 in San Francisco, and 60 in Seattle. Here. Current conditions, Rand Region, 69 degrees in Worcester, and 71 in Boston and Beverly, 73 in Fitchburg, 72 in Bedford, 65 in Gloucester, it's 75 in Surbridge, 73 in Webster, 72 in Milford, 70 in Norwood, 74 in Taunton, 72 in Bedford, it's 68 in Marshfield, 70 in Prostine and Chattanooga and Felman, it's 69 in Marfa's Vineyard, 63 in Nantuck, 65 in Cape Cod Bay, 70 in Lock County in Smithfield, 72 in Providence, 73 in West Street, 74 in Springfield, 72 in Amherst, 74 in Greenfield, 72 in North Amherst, 71 in Pittsfield, 75 in Albany, 72 in Mainton, 71 in Bradbrook, 
It's 75 in Keene, 71 in Jeffrey, 73 in Cochrane, Manchester, New Hampshire, and Impossible in New Hampshire, 74 in Nashville, New Hampshire, 77 in Windlock, St. Hartford, 76 in Burden, 72 in New Bern, Waterbury, 73 in Danbury, 73 in Bridgeport, 72 in New Haven, it's 68 in Longhouse Town, 69 in Montauk, 73 in New York, 74 in New York City, here. Take a look at our forecast discussion around the country. Here to be a slight risk of severe thunderstorms over parts of the Up and Mississippi Valley. Heavy rain possible over the parts of the Up and Mississippi Valley and Northern Plains, and heavy rain possible over the parts of the Southeast Coast. Upper level energy over the Ohio Valley, lower Great Lakes will lift the North Forest toward into the Eastern Canada, while across the Associated Front Front over the Southeast and then Gulf Coast slowly dissipates, and energy will produce rain and maybe an embedded thunderstorm over the parts of the lower Great Lakes on Sunday. Showers and thunderstorms will develop along and near the boundary over the Gulf Coast and the Southeast on Sunday too. Additional upper level impulses will move northward over Florida and in the southeast coast on Monday, Aiden and focus on showers and thunderstorms over the region. Meanwhile, another front over the northern two states will produce showers and thunderstorms over the parts of the Upper Mississippi Valley and the Upper Great Lakes on Sunday. And Monday, a plume of moisture over the Upper Midwest will direct into the boundary, producing a shower and thunderstorm over the parts of the Upper Mississippi Valley into the parts of the Northern Night Plains by Monday evening, in addition, upper level energy over Great Basin will aid in producing shots and thunderstorms over the parts of the Great Basin lifted in the parts of the Northern Intermountain region and the Northern Rockies on Monday. Elsewhere, most of the underneath an upper level ridge will produce scattered showers and thunderstorms over the parts of the Southern and Central Rockies and in the Central Plains on Sunday. Okay, let's take a look at our forecast discussion. Low pressure lift in northeast from the Milan will bring most of the conditions across much of New England with light shots for the immediate south and southeast coastline front late today. Thereafter, high pressure builds in the region, bringing in the dry weather along with the warm and humid conditions for midweek. A cold front will be from Canada tracking the fact to southern New England during Thursday with high pressure return on Friday. 10 a.m. update. Shots continue across southeast of portion of New England and as broad scale moisture flow from the southwest and grows as the tropic lift then ascent along with the north. On a stalled front, the boundary mainly is stopping and waiting beneath the RQ or the upper level jet. This will also lead to mostly cloudy conditions over much of the region. Bridge of high pressure and coming in drier air front into and eastern New England, New England will present challenges for rain and region this service. But per 12Z, sound analysis, the low level dry air is not incredibly deep, not robust. So, sprinkled to a steady rain, certainly possible beneath any areas of rainfall observed by radar. So we have likely pops closest to the salt front boundary mainly for south southeast portions of forecast area including Cape Cod and the Islands. Agreeing with a previous forecast for a forecast along the Anna Five quarter between Providence and Boston. Chance of pops for adjacent areas, especially over eastern New England and cloudy conditions to prevail over much of the region with the best chance to see sunshine. Mainly west deaths have the warmest temperatures today over the Connecticut River or Valley around 80 degrees with highs around the low to mid 70s over east southeast New England as a tiny temperature gradient between the high pressure ridge emerging towards the Southwest from the Gulf of Maine and low pressure off the Midland invokes an asphalt berg. Response to the breezy east northeast winds off the cooler waters. As a near term measure scale guidance, it appears the HRRR is catching up but suggested the use of an ECMWF to interpret the broad scale motion and influencing factors to intuitively discern the best crunchy terrain. Here. Let's take a look at what's going on in the trucks here. Nothing brewing in the Atlantic, but there's a little 10% chance of a cyclone formation here. For eastern North Pacific, east of 140 degrees west of longitude, a small area of disturbed weather located about 750 miles south southwest of Manzano, Mexico, is producing discordant showers and thunderstorm activity. Any development of this system is expected to be slow to occur over the next several days while it moves westward and west northwest with about 10 to 15 miles per formation chance for 40 hours, low about 10%, and for formation chance for 5 days, low about 20%. There. <laughs> Oh wait, let's take a look. Um, it is on tropical typhoon Matmo here. It's now a category one typhoon near with wind speeds as of 8 a.m. Eastern Daylight Time 75. Miles power to 90 miles power, it's gonna make its way straightening into a category 3 storm middle that approaches the Taiwan coastline at Tuesday morning. And it's gonna make a second landfall as a trouble storm in east central China here. Yeah. 
Oh, wait! Let's take a look at a weather update. There, a stall front of the South New England will be the focus of showery weather today into this evening. The lingering high pressure and dry air will keep much of this activity focused south and east. A mostly cloudy day with highs around the low to mid 70s. There, and this front is dry air for much of New England, and this front beyond it, tropical air off the coast. There, and breezy northeast winds off cooler waters, and best chance of a showery weather today for. Much of eastern Massachusetts, much of Redan, southeastern Connecticut, around Long Island, and up in Vermont, and Hampshire, up in the main near. And we'll see temperatures generally around the 70s here. Some 80s around Scranton, Wilkesboro, around Allentown, Pennsylvania, here, and around sub central New York. Alright, let's take a look at our seven day forecast. It goes like this. For this afternoon, a chance of showers, a slight chance. Cloudy sky, high near 76 degrees east, with about 9 miles by chance of is 20%. For that, Crowley then gradually becoming part cloudy with a low around 50 to 80 degrees. And north face wind about 5 miles coming common in the evening. Monday, Saints got down to 79 degrees in the north wind about 6 miles coming east in the afternoon. Monday night, patch about after 3 a.m. of us, most of the clear sky alone 62 degrees in south face wind about 6 miles coming common in the evening. Tuesday, patch about before 8 a.m. of us, Saints got down to 84 degrees in south wind about 3 to 8 miles per hour. Tuesday night, most of the clear sky alone 67 degrees. Wednesday, most of the Saints got down to 88 degrees. Weather night, Park Island Sky is low in 72 degrees, and Thursday, Chance of Showers, Parts of Sand Sky is under 81 degrees, and Chance of Space is 40%. Thursday night, Chance of Showers, Most of Sky is low in 62 degrees, and Chance of Space is 30%. Friday, Most of Sand Sky is under 80 degrees, and Friday night, Park Island Sky is low in 62 degrees, and for Saturday, Most of Sand Sky is under 82 degrees. Here, Peter's, what a phrase of the day! A cloudy day on tap, with a few showers in the horizon. Here, Peter Channel News Time 1256 Town for a little travel report here and it shows Route 3 a little slow from Marshfield all the way down to Hingham due to an accident on Route 3 northbound in the Marshfield Hand and over stretch. And that slow from Hanover all the way down for Derby Street in Hingham here. Southeast Expressway northbound side slow from split all the way down for the pike here. Here and Route 1 stop on Chelsea Road construction left lane close on Tormer Bridge stop between Carter Street and Tormer Bridge. Mass Pike is more on fine from Boston Dam through Sturbridge here. 120 westbound, southbound slope from mm, from Peabody all the way down through 93 in Reading due to an accident on 128 southbound. 495 an accident on the northbound side of 495 near 133 to Tuxbury. Route 93 northbound an accident in Salem, New Hampshire here near Route 28. By the way, the Mass Pike. Slow from Millbury all the way down for 84 in Sturbridge here. And 495 on the southbound side, a little slow on the northbound side from Millbury to 24 in Rain and Mayor. And Route 6 westbound, backed up from Barnesville, West Barnesville all the way down to the Sagamore Bridge. 28 northbound, a little slow around the Bourne Rotary. 93 north, a little slow from Mifluin to the New Hampshire border here due to the accident here. But otherwise, a good commute here. Picture Channel News Times 12.58 here, and I will have, and here are the news headlines in the Peter Channel Newsroom here. Top story in Kiev, Ukraine. The Ukraine government said Saturday that it proved that Russia had provided a surface air missile that shot down a Malaysian Airlines passenger jet over eastern Ukraine on Thursday, killing all 28 people aboard. And from ITN in England. Rescue workers have recovered a black box flight recorder from the wreckage of Flight MH17 and more info. The footage shows a rescue worker showing an orange colored box to a colleague while searching the crash site of the Malaysian airline. Ukraine's government claims that the plane was shot down by a military missile. Image was released, but the news was recorded on Friday. Gaza residents flee the fighting between Israel and Hamas forces in the Shaja area of Eastern. Gaza City on Sunday and Gaza residents flee the fighting between Israel and Hamas forces in the Shajai area of eastern Gaza City on Sunday. James Garner had a Hollywood chin but every man's eyes. He was a relatable lug whose most iconic work TV's man from the 50s and for files of 70s years because his beat up political guys look like a whole lot like a strain but James Garner dead at the age of 86 last night. Roy McCullough struggling surging in final round there. Garcia edge number 10 to cut the lead but to the two, but McElroy followed him minutes later with the birdie and same old McElroy would bogey the part three, but Garcia would return the favor with a bogey. Former NASA injuries reminiscence about Apollo 11 moon mission in Sir Torek London and its brain's accomplishment to interviews with E-Week 45 years ago. Mm -hmm. 
In the world news, Britain's fish George walks during a visit to the Sensational Butterflies exhibition at the Natural History Museum in London. A Florida jury has awarded the Pensacola Florida widow $23 million to $23 billion of bitter damages and lawsuit found in 2008 against R.J. Reynolds Tobacco Company. In Cairo, the death toll from a brazen attack on border posts in Egypt's western desert along the border with Libya has risen to 22 troops, including three officers, the military said Sunday. Typhoon Robinson's violent winds and heavy rains are to destructive path, killing 17 people in China after claiming nearly 100 lives in the Philippines. In U.S. news, advancing with proposal to split California into six separate states, Silicon Valley venture capitalist Tim Draper recently started submitting signatures that he garnered in the support of six California campaign. San Antonio U.S. officials warned on Sunday that scammers are attempting to prey on the families of some of the tens of thousands of accompanied child migrants crowded the border from Latin America seeking money for phony travel. New York, U.S. stocks rallied Friday to wrap up the week higher, recovering from the sharp decline to the prior day as the market wars faded over an escalation of geopolitical crisis after the crash of the Malaysian and passenger airline in Ukraine. A gas turbine and constructed a general electric factory in Belfort, France, as G results reflect shift away from finance unit there. The buy option will be soon available for specific project products on Facebook site and mobile app starting Thursday. In Houston, after making billions connecting social network, Facebook is testing a new feature designed to let users buy products directly. Your typical photo weather may be expected today, but more numerous storms in the forecast for next week. A beautiful Sunday afternoon as General Motors puts the brakes on the sale of its 2014. Kellogg's CTS. Sedans. Apple Incorporated is set to release its earnings numbers for the three months for June next week, and investors are excited to see what the company has in store. Toyota Sienna minivan has a so called driver easy speak feature amount of microphones to multiply appearance for the speakers at the back seats. Los Angeles, New York. Sci fi sequel Day on the Planet of Apes. Beat a horror flick and made a family feeling that the company keep its grip on the U.S. The trail for 50 Shades of Grey is hidden in one. Thursday, but you don't need to wait until the sacred watch Anastasia sealed to quote a Johnson and Christian J. Great, Jamie Dorian get freaky. Nina Agdell wore a tiny bikini in Miami on July 19th in CRISPR. Her vibe must have been lost in the mail. Nickelodeon star Alexander Ship will be playing the lead in the upcoming I Am Biopic after Zendaya Coleman exit the project in June. Howard Star Brad Pitt was seen wearing a white sh a shirt which had a sketch of him in Angel Jolie advertisement. He was wearing a white shirt. Which had a sketch of him and Angel Lee holding each other's hands. In sports, the Red Sox are important, which they can't take Buck Holder out of the lineup, and manager John Farrell acknowledged it. Senator Bogart says the day off today against the Kansas City Royals, and Holt, who has played in all four seven innings, has been. As the Red Sox will start John Lester while Navarro and Ramon for the Kansas City Royals. Tiger Woods discusses this point finish at the Open Championship should in final round semi finals time for 69. Hockenheim, Germany, Nico Rosberg won the German Grand Prix on Sunday to stretch his lead in the form of one driver's championship over Mercedes teammate Lewis Hamilton, who finished third after starting 20th. The study showed the Magma Chopper ventures out 6 to 10 miles in the northwest of the volcano, approximately 30 to 45 miles from Seattle to Tacoma International Metropolitan Area. The effects of global warming frequently projected decades in the future, but two recent reports are one from the United States Global Change Research Program and the other from the UN. In just over the past year, the number of abortion clinics fell. In Texas, fell from 41 to 20, and watchdogs say it's, it's as few as six may be left by September. And the long metal message is while Saturday was in too hot, humid, and black most of the summer, has been 22 news has found that at that recent news of the weather conditions that continued the arrival of a potential deadly disease in Bay Street for mosquitoes. That's coming in Fada. Boston.com, why did Beverly PD get people to complain? Happy birthday, Giselle! And this is PJ Winston. I hope you have a good afternoon with a good positive to be seen you for the Weather Magician Evening Report right after the Red Sox and the Sports Roundup. Coming up in a couple of minutes, I'll have the Peter Channel Top 10 Top 10 videos of this week. Have a good day with a good positive attitude, dear.